Dear learners, now we will discuss the another unit that is uh, unit 4, logical form. Logical form. In this unit, we will discuss the very basic concepts that are concept of logical form, distinction between form and matter, recognizing the form of an argument, logical form and the use of symbols, importance of logical form. Now, dear learners, you see, like the traditional logic, chief aim of symbolic logic is to determine the validity of arguments. In pursuing this aim, symbolic logic like mathematics make use of deductive method. It may be observed that the subject matter of symbolic logic is inference or argument. Its aim is to determine the validity of argument and the specific method is what is called deductive method. The subject matter, aim and method specific to symbolic logic give the subject a special nature which can be termed as formal. In this unit, dear learners, we shall discuss the concept of form and other important issues related with logical form. Now, dear learners, what is form? At first, you have to know what is form. What is form? You see, we can observe that in our day-to-day -day life, we often use the term form and matter. So when we discuss form, then we also have to discuss the another very basic issue that is matter in logic, that is form and matter. Every material object, for example, a table has two aspects. For example, a table has two aspects. First one is matter, second one is form. A table has two aspects. First one is matter and second one is form. When we speak of matter, when we speak of matter of the table, we are talking of the elements out of which the table is made. Again, we are, uh, again, the learners repeating, when we are uh, talking of the matter of the table, basically what we are speaking, what we are talking, all the elements or the substances out of which the table is made. It means, for example, in the case of a wooden table, the wood is the matter or the element or substance which makes up the table. Again, supposing that the table round in shape. The table round in shape. Then this roundness or round shape is the form of the table. Now you see, dear learners, like a material object, an argument and proposition also have particular forms and composed by certain elements, which are called its matter. For example, in the proposition, all men are mortal. All men are mortal. Here, you see, the constituent words, the constituent words are its matter, 
the constituent words are its matter and similarly the matter of the argument is the constituent propositions or the premises and the conclusion you see the learners the expression logical form indicates the expression logical form indicates the way in which the matter or the element of the proposition or argument are expressed logical form may be defined again repeating logical form may be defined as the way in which the constituents or the elements of a proposition or argument are arranged to compose and express the proposition and the argument in other words it is a type of structural coordination arising out of the mutual relations of the constituents or elements of a proposition or argument now you see there learners it can be said that or it can be seen that the matter of a proposition or argument expresses the subject matter of a proposition or argument on the other hand the form of a proposition on the other hand the form of a proposition or argument expresses the way in which subject matter is expressed form relates to the form relates to the logical structures underlying the argument again i repeat form relates to the logical structure underlying the language content in any arguments content provides the matter content provides the matter of the argument in other words logical structure or logical structure is the form or the mode to which the matter can be cast so form relates to the logical structure the form relates to the logical structure it is underlying or it is the underlying logical relationship of an inference the learners the difference between form and matter can be expressed with the help of two words namely syntax and semantics syntax and semantics the logical form can be expressed with the help of syntax and semantics syntax relates to the logical structure or the underlying structure of a proposition or on the other hand semantics relates to the matter or the meaning of the word of an argument now dear learners you can test yourself there are some questions for you so this fill up the blanks the word form in logic is used as applied to arguments and fill up the blanks then second one the constituent elements of an argument are called each you find out the word the form of an argument relates to logical that you find out the word form is concerned with the syntax but matter is concerned with the for with the concern with the death of the argument now dear learners you see the distinction between form and matter it is an important distinction uh, it is an important concept in logic in order to know the form of a proposition we can take the uh, following three propositions now you see all men are mortal is already there 
that all educational institutes are all so which are holy places third one is all peers individuals are honest you see if we observe if we observe the following three propositions we can find that all the three propositions differ in respect to their content or matter but so far as their form is concerned the proposition have the same form same logical form if we withdraw our attention from their subject matter then we cognize their form to be of that is all p is q you see this is the same logical form all p is q if you write all p is q then it means all educational institutes are holy places all men are mortal all peers individuals are are all peers individuals are honest you see their learners again all smoky objects are fiery if there is smoke then there is fire it can be said that the above two propositions have the same matter but different forms you see their learners again i repeat all smoky objects are fiery all smoky objects are fiery if there is smoke if there is smoke then there is then there is fire number 1 number 2 here you see the learners it can be said that the above two propositions have the same matter but different forms the form of the first proposition is as follows all p e all s is all p is q we can say the second proposition has the following form that is if p then q here you see the logical form is different in case of the two examples but the matter is same in case of the two examples thus one need to withdraw one's attention from the subject matter of the proposition and concentrate on the way the subject matter is presented in order to recognize the form of the proposition for this the use of symbols in indispensable in symbolic logic now you see examples of logical form now dear learners i shall go i shall go if he comes i shall go if he comes he has come he has come therefore i shall go this is first one then second one you see if if you study hard 
if you study hard then you will pass in the examination you will pass you will pass in the examination you have studied hard you have studied hard therefore you will pass in the examination you will pass in the examination so you see this one second and this is first in case of an argument form is expressed in the way in which the constituent propositions are arranged to make propositions they are learners you see all the three arguments or all the two arguments have different subject matter but have the same form the same logical form of the above two examples means this first one second one is one of hypothetical categorical syllogism the form can be expressed as if p if p then q if p then q p therefore q these two propositions can be logically expressed that if p then q and p therefore q you see but this logical form can be symbolically represented as p implies q and p therefore q so this is modus ponens a valid logical form the use of symbols reveals the form of the argument now they are learners you see there are another very very basic important concept in the in this unit that is that is relation between logical form and use of symbols logical form and use of symbols now you see their friends there is a close connection between logical form and the use of symbols their learners you see there is a close connection between logical form and the use of symbols you see in order to express the form of the proposition and argument it is necessary to use symbols symbolic logic is completely a formal science in symbolic logic no importance is given at all to the matter or the elements of the proposition and the argument it has been observed in order to discern the form of the proposition or the argument one need to completely withdraw one's attention from the subject matter of the argument or proposition as the case may be and express the same through symbols the use of symbols makes the logical form clear thus the use of symbols facilitates the discernment of logical form modern logic their learners you know perhaps that is a development of traditional deductive logic which is completely formal in nature just like mathematics like mathematics it makes use of deductive method the use of symbols makes the argument free from ambiguities of 
ordinary language. Now you see the learners, this helps to determine the validity or invalidity of argument by using logical form. Now the learners, the words valid and invalid are applied to the form of argument and not to the argument that is to the content of the argument. The word valid and the word valid implies the correctness of the structural argument, that is the form of the argument, which in its turn depends upon the adherence to certain formal rules. Now you see their learners, there is also another very important concept in this unit that is importance of logical form. The study of logical form is important because it is directly connected with the determination of the validity and invalidity of the argument. If the logical form of the argument is valid, then the deductive argument will be valid. And if the form of the argument is incorrect, then the argument is invalid. Therefore, there is a close connection between the logical form and the validity and the invalidity of the argument. Now they are learn C. So in this unit, there are some basic points. These basic points are this logical form is the structural synthesis or coordination of the elements of the proposition or the argument as the case may be. Logicians put more emphasis on the concept of logical form rather than on matter or the elements of the proposition or the argument. It is because of the validity of the argument depends on the form and not on the matter. Secondly, modern logic is completely formal in nature. The use of symbols in is indispensable because symbols make the form of the argument clear and help one to withdraw one's attention on the content or matter. Rather, the focus is on the form of the argument, which helps to determine the validity of the argument. So, this is all about the unit that is logical form. The learners, uh, in order to know this unit comprehensively, you have to read or you have to consult with the books like Introduction to Logic written by Irving M. Copy, another one uh, that is Symbolic Logic Irving M. Copy, and Cohen and Carl. Another one you can take uh, Logic Informal, Symbolic and Inductive written by uh, Sanda Sakraborty. And another one, very important one, that is Introduction to Logic written by uh, Harley Patrick J. So these are very, very important books you have to read in order to understand the uh, unit logical form in a very uh, comprehensive manner. So dear learners, thank you so much for patiently listening this uh, lecture on logical form.